welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is yet another video tutorial of using Photoshop Elements. I'm your host Jack and I'd like to say thank you for subscribing to the YouTube videos. I truly do appreciate it. And if you're not uh, a member of YouTube yet, if you have not signed up for YouTube, why not? You know, it's free and then it gives you the ability to subscribe to people's videos. What happens when you subscribe to somebody's channel is basically they post a new video like I'm doing this evening and tomorrow when you open up your YouTube I'll be on the home page I'll be right there for you available you'll say wow Jack posted a new video you don't have to look for anybody and you can subscribe to many many people's videos that way so sign up for YouTube it's a, it's a great service it's free for you to sign up um, so why not do it the next thing I can tell you out to help the show out that's one way to help us out subscribing Another way to help us out is to stop over at jackstechcorner.com. I know many of you have heard this before, but please bear with me for just a few minutes, or maybe even a half a minute. Um, I, for those of you out there that are new to the show, there's three volumes of the DVD I have available for you. All these are high resolution videos, so they're very much uh, worth the $15 and $2 shipping. And we also have a uh, Mac edition here. The Mac edition is all these videos are completely done on the Mac with Element 6 as well as iPhoto. And the reason I include iPhoto is to give you some ideas of how to organize your pictures on the Mac and how to better catalog things since uh, the catalog and the organizer program is not included with Elements on the Mac. And the best value right now for your buck is the three volume set. What it is is I give you all the videos, all of these three DVD videos, all one great disc. It's 112 videos for you with a very nice menuing system, volume one, two, and three. Uh, and I'm sure you'll really enjoy it. And like it says here, folks, it goes from basic to advanced editing. So very basic of how to use the organizer. And we work our way up to more advanced editing to get your money out of the program. Don't say, Jack, I can't do advanced editing. Oh my, this program is so large and so hard to use. But you know, the, the point is, folks, is you're paying 70 or maybe $90 for Elements. Get your money out of the program. You know, get the videos and learn step by step how to do things. It's very easy to learn. There's also a two disc set if you're uh, interested. Maybe you don't want the third volume for some reason. You want to just pick up two discs. I still have those available. And if you just want to help the show, uh, like I've seen tonight, I'm having a little bit of audio difficulty, so if the audio is a little different tonight, bear with me. There's a donation button, and this money coming in helps to buy new equipment, and it looks like I may have to buy some new audio gear here pretty soon and try to get my audio figured out um, to kind of get that straightened around, because right now I'm actually on a different microphone, and we'll see how that works out. So with that said, um, I hope you've enjoyed the video so far, and let's get on with this tutorial. Now this tutorial, folks, we're going to talk about tonight is basically softening skin. And a lot of people say, well, Jack, um, how do you actually soften skin? Let me pull this up in here. It looks like I'm a little bit out of my frame here. And softening skin is a very, very subtle approach to fixing a picture. And I'm not taking anything away from this beautiful bride and her bridesmaid because this bride was actually a client of mine and I will not take anything away from her. She was a very beautiful bride. Um, the, the photography and the photo shoots through the day went very, very well, extremely well with this couple. Um, but I just want to use her because she has a lot of skin exposed and we can see how this effect uh, works. But don't look for something that's going to be dramatic. I've done this about 10 times. I was looking for a dramatic change. It's not. It's a very subtle effect. That's why it's called softening skin. Uh, we're not trying to blast the skin or change the colors of the skin or anything. We're just softening skin. So let's go ahead and start with this tutorial and I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. First step as always is we're going to take that background and duplicate it. You know we do that by pressing Control J or if you're on the Mac, the Mac fans out there, it's Command J and that will duplicate that background layer. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, what we're going to do next is that layer, we have to change that up here where you see it says create a blending mode for the layer we can't leave it normal okay click that you got all these different blending modes and we've talked about these in past videos you might want to look back at some of the videos you'll find some stuff on them 
but all these do something different to the actual layer. So we're going to turn this layer into an overlay layer. Just like that. Now it's going to look kind of weird. That's okay. Let that go. You're going to say, wow, Jack, it changed a lot and I kind of messed it up. It's all right. When we get to the end result, you'll see that it'll clear itself back up. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go under your filter and we're going to go down to other. Now, under the other filter, we're going to use a high pass filter. Now, when we use this, look how it kind of made it like an embroidered type look or a copper tone look. Play with this radius down here in these pixels. You can take this way up. Here, let me do this. We'll take it way up and see what it does. It's going to do something like this. Okay? And you can do a control I on that. And you see how much here you have it blurred out. The skin definitely softened out. Look at the skin. Uh, any freckle that was there is gone. But what happened was, look how we blew the picture out. I mean, we seriously took this picture and just destroyed it. Now, there's a couple things we can do with this. We can still use this. We're going to show you a trick. Is go into your, oops, hold on. Right here, your create adjustment layer. And go to levels, because we need a layer mask. All right. Um, now, normally this tutorial would be done in, you know, Photoshop and so many people tell me and talk to me and say, Jack, I can only do this trick in Photoshop because elements don't have a mask. I, if I can't use a mask, I can't do this uh, this editing work. Well, look, we clicked on levels and we're going to click OK. Don't touch anything. And look what we have here. We have a mask. Imagine that. It's, it's a trick way to get a mask, but it works the same as any other mask would work in Photoshop. And what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure this foreground color is black and if it's not folks you can flip it here right you click here and then flip it this will always take you back to your black and white make sure the blacks on top grab a paintbrush and now make your brush a little bigger because look where this is blurred up here I'm just going to show you that you can actually fix this take the opacity up to 100 percent let's try to go in here What you're actually doing is trying to paint some of the blur out, okay, that you did with that high pass filter. The way you can tell it's working, see down here at the bottom where this black is coming on? You're actually painting black over the white to reveal this picture down here, is really what you end up doing, right? So you're revealing that. And the more you go over here, the more you can reveal it. You get down there and there deeper and deeper, right? Because you don't want the clothes blurred, folks. You just want the skin to have that blurred effect. Okay, so I'm going to sharpen up all the flowers again. Can I sharpen up the dresses? Like I said, this is a really dramatic, very dramatic effect that I'm doing for you here. I don't recommend this. I don't recommend the very dramatic effect. Okay, I'm going to show you again here real quick. We're just going to take this out. We always go over their eyes. A lot of people forget this. We always go over their eyes to sharpen those back up and their lips and their teeth. People don't really look good with blurry teeth. Okay, if your brush, remember left and right bracket keys. That's what I'm using here. Get these back down a little bit just like so okay don't forget any of the background stuff you know some some editors do they go in and they make a change like that and they don't bring this stuff back up to clear make it clear again at that point you actually want to bring up everything you want to try to bring the walls back out everything with the skin right the skin's what we're actually working on I know, we get a lot of emails said, Jack, why don't you just make a selection of the skin and just work on the skin? Well, you can do that too. Now, like I said, that was very, very dramatic, okay, what we just did. But you can see, we got rid of the freckles. The skin is very much softened out. It's very, very white. It's very clear skin, but it's very, very dramatic. I don't recommend to go with that radius and go that high. Now let's just go back here a little bit. Uh, I don't want this video to be too overbloated. Let's just duplicate that layer again 
Control J. Remember, change that to an overlay. All right. Let's go up here. Let's go to Filter, Other, High Pass Filter. Now, that's really, really extreme. Cut that thing down. Let's take it down to maybe even 10 would work. Let's try eight. All right, let's invert Control I or Command I. Now again, you have that same type of effect. See how it's very, very dark and very blurred. All right. So we're gonna try this one more time. Do it one more time here. Overlay. What I seem to find uh, that works the best, folks, in doing this a few times. Take this down to about a 4.5. And again, you're going to have to work with your picture and see what you have. But you see a 4.5 is more natural looking. She still has some, a couple of her freckles there. You know, the family's going to remember that, oh, the, the girl has freckles or, or the man has a, um, you know, little birthmark on his chin. You want that to be there. You just want to soften the skin out. All right. Now let's go here and put your mask back in. And then let's just do our painting again. All right. Let's again sharpen the eyes back out, mouth. And you can see already that this one is not, the skin is not as deep and blurred as the last one. The skin looks more natural. But all this other stuff, you still have to work and bring all that stuff back out and get it sharp again. Oops, brush size is too big. I think it's one of them days with the keyboard. All right. So you want that brush size to be bigger so you can actually work in here quickly. You know, you don't have to be perfect with this. Um, try to stay away from the skin because that's what you actually was cleaning up and fixing. Make those flowers again sharp. Their straps, don't forget their straps now. It's part of the gown, right? Or part of whatever. Make sure you got the, all the clothing that somebody's wearing. Um, and then the walls. Make sure you get all these walls sharpened back out. You're taking that blurred effect back off. Uh, we're painting with black. We're revealing everything underneath. And that's just kind of how that works out. As you can see, I like working with the bigger brush for bigger areas, right? I don't like to strain and be poking around in here for hours. over their hair. Remember, their hair is not supposed to be softened down at all, right? It's their hair. They've spent a lot of time working on it. And there you have it. It's very dramatic. That's how you soften skin. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. Just remember, take your time. If you need to, go back and play this video a couple times, and I'm sure you'll be able to soften skins on your portrait also. So until next time, remember, first of all, take a look at the website, jackstechcorner.com. If you've enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll enjoy all the value-added videos, uh, the DVD exclusives that come on those DVDs that's never seen before footage, uh, a lot of great tutorials that you're going to want to try that aren't posted anywhere on YouTube, from me anyway. So until next time, keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing. I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.